Hello, painters. All right, I'm going to take you through altering the colors of your animal and saving it so that I can print it for you and be all set. So, number one, you're going to go to Schoology. You're going to click on your course, and you're going to scroll down to the Ron Burns Animals Paintings. This is the presentation from yesterday. Click on the instructions. This is important, so you want to follow this step by step. And then I'm going to take this out. We're not going to submit here. We're having issues with that. So first thing, I check my instructions. One, go to photopea.com and set up an account that uses the same login as in your computer. You don't have to set up an account, actually. Don't even worry about that. Just go to Photopea. Bam. There you go. Mm, I don't need that either. This is not important to the video. Not helpful. All right, so I go to Photopea. Oh, look, here I am. Now I go back to my instructions. Go to File, Open, and find your photo on your Chromebook. So File, Open. And I need the picture of my doggy. There he is. There's my doggy. And isn't he cute? What are we doing in my niece's room? It was very cute. So we got that. Um, I did that. Crop your image using the tool. It looks like a square with little tails at the corners. And make sure you select the drop down. Now the drop down is going to say free. We got to change it to fixed ratio and set it to 8 by 10. So this part was a bit confusing. So I go to the crop tool. This guy here. I want this, when you first open it, it's going to say free. I want it to be fixed ratio, very important. If you want yours to be a portrait, then you want it to be 8 by 10. If your animal fits on the page best um, in a more horizontal or landscape mode, then make it 10 by 8. Now, I can pull on these, and because it's a set ratio, it's going to move all of them. You can pull on any little box. I want to give his nose a little room, but you want it to be as tight as you can make it to the animal. So I want his ears to touch. It's good to cut off little edges like ears or part of the body. Try to zoom in on the face. This a little bit of this body I think is okay. We'll come in a little bit more so it's the edge of the printer, at the edge of the page. Let's see, I got this is touching. That's cut off a bit. This looks great to me. I click my check. Click the check. The X is canceled. So I click the check. Now see how it's doing all this weird stuff? I don't like it. So I'm going to immediately switch tools and go up here and not worry about anything else. So I get off the crop tool right away. Now I have the size of my image I want. Now what do I do? Let's check the instructions. Go to image, adjustments, hue, and saturation. And then I'm going to play with these sliders. I'm going to show you that first. I'm not going to come back to the instructions that way. So image, adjustments, hue, and saturation. And then I come over here, and changing my hue means changing my color. So see, he's kind of greenish. He's kind of bluish. He's going more darker blue, more violety, bluey, purpley, and I can play, play with all these colors. Now, in my mind, he's a yellow dog because he's kind of blonde-looking yellow dog. So I want to get him sort of yellow, orangey. That's kind of where I want him to be. He's not getting very bright. Oh, but look, I have more I can do. I'm going to up the saturation. Too much. Look, oh, I don't like it too much. Don't make it over like it actually takes away the clarity of the picture. So you can make things brighter, but don't, don't get like crazy on it, you know. Make it so you still see the details. It doesn't distort your picture. So here, this is kind of nice. This is making this purpley. So if that, and I can adjust this more. Like I'm going to play with these reds and oranges, but these lighter colors, I'm going to make more yellow as I play with it because I want him to. I think of him as my yellow dog. I want him to be yellow. So I think about there is good. Now I want to see his eyes really well. The one in the light, great. This one, a little harder to see. So I can lighten this here, so I can see it a little better. And that's going to help me see the eyes. Make sure the eyes are clear. You want a good, clear photo. So you want to start with the large photo in the beginning. This looks okay to me, so I click OK. If your other option is you can click Colorize too, and then you change your hue, it's going to give you just one color. But if you want a really specific color, and you can always add other ones in, this is another option for things you can try too. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back here. I want my orange. Ooh, oh, that's very yellow. I'm going there. Perfect. Done. All right. So I got that. Now let's go back to instructions. Once you like what you see, go to File, Export as a JPEG, make the quality 100% and save it to your Chromebook. So here we go. File, Export as JPEG. Mm -hmm. I click JPEG. Apparently it's taking a moment of time here. So there we go. Oh, it's big. That's okay. Don't worry about this image. 100%. So I make it nice and big. I click Save. It is here. Now, for me, this is saved to my desktop. Let's go back to the instructions. What does it tell me next? Create a Google Doc. You will need to go File, 
page set up and make sure all your margins are 0.25 inches. Very important people do this part. And so it ports your landscape so it corresponds to your orientation. And then you're going to copy the docket, your picture in or insert it, either way works. Add your name and class period to the page so I can print it and know whose it is. And then this is a little different. I told you yesterday you're going to submit it to Schoology. Schoology is messing with the margins. It doesn't like my 0.25 margins. Well, let me print that. So we're not doing that anymore. You're going to go to your periods folder. These are the names of the folders. I've shared these with you. I've sent you emails with this link to it. So you can go either way. Click it here or go to that email. And then, so let's see. I have, let's, let's go back here. I need to go back and set up a Google Doc file, new Google Doc. And I go immediately to file, scroll down to the page setup, almost to the button. Nope, nope, not the language, page setup. There we go. And this, my defaults are already pretty little, 0.25 all the way around. And the reason you need to do this is because this is going to make it so you can make your image the exact size as your final painting and it makes drawing it a second time so much easier. So for me, I'm going to go insert image, upload from my computer. Oh, how come I did not save it? Hmm, that's frustrating. Can I do this? Can I go control A to select it all? I can then go control C to copy once I'm in the photo piece. Now I want my untitled document, control V to paste. Well, let me do that. Control, oh, it did, it did. Wow, the colors don't seem that altered. I might go back, make it more orange. We'll see, I place some more. Then at the end, let's just call this, this let's pretend this is exactly what I wanted. I would put my name on here. I would put my period on here. And then I would save it to make sure that I've placed it in this, where is it? I have to move it. Move. Oh, I built it in this one. Oh, I'm putting my name in here. Miss Rosen. Miss Rosen Doggy. Call it what you want. Put your name in there, would you? That would help me. As long as I got your name. I know what I'm looking for. There. So there's. Change my name. There it is. Okay. So it's in the correct folder. I have it done. I'm going to go back, check my instructions, make sure I did everything. Next, you will draw a one-inch grid on the canvas board and on this. And I will demo that for you today in class. Okay. Thank you very much, people. Appreciate it. Have a great day.